Good morning, dear students. Welcome back for the third session of Pair of Linear Equations in Two Variables. The topic for the day is Substitution Method. Dear students, so far we have learned how to solve a given system of equations graphically. But solving the equations graphically is not the only method to solve them. There are more methods to solve them. There are three different methods to solve a pair of linear equations algebraically. The first and the simplest method of them is the substitution method. As the name suggests, in order to find the value of the first variable, we substitute it in terms of the other. Just see an example. Here, I am trying to solve exercise 3.3 .3, question number 1 by the substitution method. The two equations given to us are x plus y equal to 14 and x minus y equal to 4. From equation 1, I can very clearly say that y will be equal to 14 minus x. This I mark as the third equation. Substituting this value of y from equation 3 in equation 2, we get x minus, instead of y I have put 14 minus x is equal to 4. That gives me x minus 14 plus x is equal to 4. That is 2x equal to 18 which gives me x equal to 9. Now using this value of x equal to 9, if I put this value of 9 in equation 3, we get y equal to 14 minus 9, which gives me y equal to 5. So I've got the answer as x equal to 9 and y equal to 5. That is the answer. If there's any doubt, you can watch this video later on and get more clarity. Let us take up another example. We will solve the following pair of equations by the substitution method. I am doing the fifth part of question number one. There are two equations given to us. I take the first equation as root 2x plus root 3y is equal to 0. And the second equation root 3x plus root 8y is equal to 0. I will solve these two equations by substitution method. So I will go the same way. From the first equation, I will try to get the value of x. We will substitute in the second equation and find out the value of x and y. Let us try to do it. The first equation can be rewritten as root 2x is equal to minus root 3y, which gives me x is equal to minus root 3 upon root 2y. Substituting this value of x from the third equation, in the second one, we get minus 3 upon root 2 plus root 8y is equal to 0. That is minus 3 plus 4 upon root 2y is equal to 0, which simplifies to 1 upon root 2y is equal to 0. That means y is equal to 0. If I put this value in the third equation, which was x is equal to minus root 3 upon root 2y, putting y is equal to 0, I get x also equal to 0. Thus, x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 is the required solution. The rest of the parts of question 1 are to be done on your own. You will be doing them as the homework in your notebook one register that you have made. Let us take up the question 2 from exercise 3.3. .3. Question 2 is solve 2x plus 3y equal to 11 and 2x minus 4y equal to minus 24 and hence find the value of m for which y is equal to mx plus 3. Understand the question carefully. The two equations are to be solved first. We will be using the substitution method to solve them. And once we get the value of x and y, we will be putting them in the equation y is equal to mx plus 3 and get the value of m from that. So let us begin the solution. I will take the two equations to be the first and the second equation. From the first, I can get the value of x as 11 minus 3y upon 2 by transposing the terms of the equation and which gives me this value of x I will substitute in the second equation. So twice of 11 minus 3y upon 2 minus 4y is equal to minus 24. 2 and 2 cancels to give me 11 minus 3y minus 4y is equal to minus 24. That is 35 is equal to 7y that is y is equal to 5. 
I substitute the value of y in third. The third one was x is equal to 11 minus 3y upon 2. So I put the value of y as 5 in the third equation to give me 11 minus 3 into 5 that is 11 minus 15 upon 2 minus 4 upon 2 which gives me x is equal to minus 2. I use these two values of x equal to minus 2 and y equal to 5 and put them in y is equal to mx plus 3. What do I get? I get m will be equal to minus 1. Now let us solve some word problems algebraically. See here, the third question is solving the equations graphical algebraically. There are six parts in this. The fourth part I am doing first. The taxi charges in a city consist of a fixed charge together with the charge for the distance covered. For a distance of 10 kilometers, the charge paid is 105. And for a journey of 15 kilometers, the charge paid is 155. What are the fixed charges and the charge per kilometer? How much does a person have to pay for traveling a distance of 25 kilometers? So understand the question first that supposing, imagine that you have to go somewhere. So the moment you get into the vehicle, you get into the taxi, you have to pay a certain fixed amount. And then as long distance as you cover, According to the distance travelled, you have to pay a certain amount. So, you will be paying one fixed amount plus the charges for the distance covered. So, I will be making two assumptions here. I will be supposing first of all, let the fixed charge be rupees x and the charge per kilometer be rupees y. Then, it is given to us that for the distance of 10 kilometers, if for 1 kilometer it is y, so for 10 kilometers it becomes 10y. And the fixed charges remain as it is. So my equation, the first equation comes x plus 10y equal to 105. The second equation x plus 15y because that's for 15 kilometers. x plus 15y is equal to 155. The first equation can be rewritten as x is equal to 105 minus 10y. I mark it as equation number 3. I substitute this value of x in the second equation. And what do I get? I get 105 minus 10y which was the value of x plus 15y is equal to 155 which gives me 105 plus 5y is equal to 155 that is 5y is equal to 50 which gives me y equal to 10. Now I'll substitute this value of y equal to 10 in the equation 3 and what do I get? I get x equal to 5. Thus the fixed charge is rupees 5. And the charges per kilometer is rupees 10. So the total charge for traveling a distance of 25 kilometers is rupees x plus 25y. x was how much? It was rupees 5. So 5 plus 25 into 10 which is 255 rupees. See the third question. The third question again the fifth part I have taken up. The fraction becomes 9 by 11 if 2 is added to both the numerator and the denominator. If 3 is added to both the numerator and the denominator it becomes 5 by 6. What is the fraction? Again, we have to find out the fraction means we need to find out the numerator and the denominator. So, we will suppose let the numerator be x and let the denominator be y. So, what is the fraction? If I suppose the numerator to be x and the denominator to be y, I get the required fraction as x upon y. According to the question, if 2 is added to both the numerator and the denominator, we get x plus 2 upon y plus 2 and which is equal to 9 by 11. Similarly, I get the second equation x plus 3 upon y plus 3 means adding 3 to both numerator and denominator I get 5 by 6. So solving the first one I get the final equation as 11x minus 9y equal to minus 4 I write it the first equation and similarly I get the second equation as 6x minus 5y is equal to minus 3. I hope you've understood we've cross multiplied and then simplified to get the two equations. Now our aim is to solve these two equations. Look at the equations carefully. The first and the second equation. Both the equations from any one of them I will find out the value of one variable and I will put it in the other equation. So here what we have done. The first one equation can be rewritten as x is equal to 9y minus 4 upon 11. Now I will substitute and I will mark it as equation 3. I will substitute this value of x in equation 2 and we get 54y minus 24 upon 11 minus 5y is equal to minus 3. That is 54y minus 24 minus 55y is equal to minus 33 which finally gives me y equal to 9. 
This value of y equal to 9 can be substituted in the third equation to get x is equal to 7. Thus, I get the values of x as 7, y as 9 and the fraction becomes 7 upon 9. Just see the sixth part of this third question. Five years hence, the age of Jacob will be three times that of his son. Five years ago, Jacob's age was seven times that of his son. What are their present ages? So what are we supposed to do? We are supposed to find out the ages of Jacob and son. So we will suppose that let the present age of Jacob be X years and the present age of his son be Y years. Now read the question carefully. It says that five years hence. So if today the age of a person is 20 years, five years hence means five years later is going to be 25. That means when we are taking five years hence means we have to add five to it. So if I have the present age of Jacob to be X years, then five years hence means X plus five years. Five years hence for the son's age becomes Y plus five years. Similarly, 5 years ago means 5 years back, 5 years earlier. So, if today it's 20, 5 years earlier, 5 years ago, it would have been 20 minus 5, that is 15. So, if present age of Jacob is X, 5 years ago it was X minus 5 years. Similarly, for his son, we can find out 5 years hence, his age 5 years ago was AY minus 5. According to the question, it says 5 years hence, Age of Jacob will be 3 times the age of his son. So x plus 5 that is the age 5 years hence of Jacob will be 3 times age of his son which is y plus 5. So I get my first equation as x plus y is equal to 3 times y plus 5 which simplifies finally to give me x minus 3y is equal to 10. So clearly from the first equation I can see it's going to be very easy if I use x is equal to 3y plus 10 and try to substitute it. Second equation I can get by, it is said that 5 years ago, Jacob's age was 7 times the age of his son. So, x minus 5, the age of Jacob 5 years ago and five y minus 5, the age of his son 5 years ago. It states that x minus 5 is 7 times y minus 5. x minus 5 is equal to 7 times y minus 5. That is x minus 5 is equal to 7y minus 35. And my final equation comes out to be x minus 7y is equal to minus 35. The first equation can be rewritten as I said x is equal to 10 plus 3y. I'll substitute that in the second equation. The third equation I'll substitute in the second one. I get what? I get 10 plus 3y the value of x minus 7y equal to minus 30 which simplifies to be as y is equal to 10. Substituting this value of y in the second equation we get x is equal to 40. So I have got my answer as x equal to 40 and y equal to 10. Now remember it is a word problem so the answers have to be in words. Jacob's age 40 years and his son's age 10 years. Kindly note I again say that when you solve a word problem it should always end with a concluding statement, an answer statement, a statement in words. For example the concluding statement the last problem was Jacob's age is 40 years and his son's age is 10 years. I could not have left the answer as x is 40 and y is 10. That is not the correct way. So if you miss on writing the same, you might lose marks. So keep that in mind. Complete the rest of the parts of question 3 in your notebook. That will be the assignment, the homework for you. I hope the session is was clear to you. The problems, the method of Substitution is clearly understood by you all. In case you have a doubt, you may watch the video again. Let me know if there's any problem. We'll take it up in the next session. Thank you so much.